All right. I was wrong about the OnePlus 12. So a couple weeks ago, I uploaded a video comparing the camera quality of the OnePlus 12, the S24 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro Max. If you haven't seen the video, feel free to check it out. I'll put the link down in the description and you can clearly see in that video that all three cameras perform exceptionally well. And I kept things fairly neutral, pretty much, you know, explain that no matter which way you go, you can get very, very good quality. Now, one thing that I covered in particular was nighttime photography. And again, I kept things pretty neutral and pretty much said that you can't go wrong with any of the three. But now that I've spent more time with the OnePlus 12 and I've taken more nighttime photos, I don't think that's 100% true. I think more times than not, the OnePlus 12 actually outperforms the S24 Ultra and the iPhone 15 Pro Max when it comes to nighttime photography. And when I say nighttime photography, I'm not talking about astrophotography or low light portraits or anything like that. I'm just talking about general nighttime street photography. Maybe if you're out in a new city, you're traveling, exploring, sightseeing, that type of situation. Again, I think the OnePlus 12 generally performs better than both the S24 Ultra and the iPhone. All right, so right here, we've got a real simple comparison. I think the first thing you notice is the darker exposure on the Samsung. When it comes to taking photos at night, that's generally a trend as far as Samsung goes. And the other thing you notice is the lens flare going across the middle of the iPhone photo. Whenever you're outdoors and you have street lights and other bright light sources, the lens flares on the iPhone are generally a lot more aggressive compared to other phones. So right here in this scenario, honestly, you could say it's a toss up between the Samsung or the OnePlus. In this example, again, you're gonna notice that much more aggressive lens flare coming from that street light on the iPhone photo. As far as the Samsung photo, I love the colors, I love the contrast, I think it looks great. But what surprises me the most is that when you zoom in to this light going across the wall, the OnePlus 12 compensates for that light enough to maintain 100% of the detail for every single brick on that wall. If you look at the iPhone and the Samsung photo, you can see the first row or two of bricks are completely blown out. And I think that's what's most impressive about the OnePlus 12, its ability to expose for both the highlights and the shadows. Here we've got another very basic comparison. And honestly, there's nothing that really jumps out at you across the three photos. I just personally think the OnePlus photo is the most pleasing to the eye. With the Samsung, again, you're gonna notice that darker exposure. And as far as the colors on the iPhone, it almost looks like it has a very slight yellowish tint. So in this example, I prefer the exposure and the color accuracy of the OnePlus 12. Now, this photo was used in my previous video, and I think it showcases the ability of the OnePlus to handle exposure at night. As you can see, the overall exposure matches up very well to the iPhone and the Samsung. But when you punch into that sign there across the street, you can see how well it handles the exposure of the bright lights within that sign. You can see with detail each individual light bulb, and that's not necessarily the case on the iPhone or the Samsung. Now, earlier I talked about the lens flares and how they're generally more aggressive on the iPhone. Another thing that you'll notice from time to time are these reflections. So if you pay attention to the iPhone photo, you'll notice that that sign is reflecting itself on the bottom half of the photo. And that's not something that you get on the Samsung or the OnePlus. And this is something that I see all the time on social media. I can always tell when a photo or video has been taken on an iPhone because I notice these types of reflections all the time. So right here, we've got a video example and again, you can see that the sign across the street is being reflected on the bottom half of the video. You don't really get that on the Samsung or the OnePlus. You are gonna notice the darker exposure again on the Samsung. And personally, I prefer the more even exposure on the OnePlus. It's just easier to see the detail of everything being captured. Now, right here, this is a great example. As you can see on the Samsung and the OnePlus photo, they both handled the exposure perfectly for that KC sign. The way that it looks in those two photos is exactly how the sign looks in person. The iPhone did something a little weird where it kind of overexposed the middle of the sign. Now, going back to the Samsung photo, again, it exposes perfectly for that sign, but you could make the case that the foreground and the background are a little too dark. With the OnePlus photo, not only does it expose perfectly for the sign, 
It also exposes perfectly for the foreground and the background, maintaining as much detail as possible in the entire photo. And more times than not, I think that's what you notice when it comes to the OnePlus 12 at night. It handles the exposure for the shadows and the highlights flawlessly. To cap things off, we've got a few more side-by-side -side examples that you guys can take a look at. Nothing really jumps out in these particular examples, but you can clearly see the OnePlus 12 stacks up very, very well against the competition when it comes to nighttime photos. Now, I'm not saying that the OnePlus 12 is the best camera overall. I just wanted to make this video to give the OnePlus 12 a little bit more credit when it comes to those nighttime shots. So again, if you haven't seen the previous video of me comparing these a little bit more in depth, make sure you check it out. Link is in the description. And aside from that, appreciate you guys for watching as always, and I'll see you in the next one.